Hi everybody. Um, I am here to make a video. That was a weird thing to say, wasn't it? Actually, if you watched my last video, you noticed you you noticed that I had I had a Happy Meal, and um, yes, I had Happy Meal from Wendy, and there was a lot of things in this package, and I went through my whole Happy Meal on camera, but then after I was done with the video, I went through it again, because that's just how I do things, and I found that there was a lot of things here that went together, and that was this Imagine package. There's Imagine, um, it's a Graphic 45 Imagine packet, and in here there's eight pattern and solid papers and two sheets Oh, that are two sheets per design in this. And then this one here is stickers that goes to the Imagine. Then there's two sheets of regular craft cardstock. There's this these um, locks, metal keyholes. There's these stamps. There are these um, note cards. And they all go to the same to the same collection. And here is directions. Now I don't know how many videos I will because I will have at the end of this because um, to get this finished because I'm going to follow the directions. And if y'all know me, I'm not very good at that. So, uh, but Wendy. Here I go. I'm doing this. She sent these directions. And this is called the Imagine. Im Im Imagine is the, um, the um, name of this collection of papers. Okay, so first of all, it says, we'll get right on this. I'm getting right on this. I'm going to try not to make this last too long. Okay, so it says what we do first is from one of the 12 by 12 sheets of ivory cardstock is cut the following one seven by ten and two five and a half by five and three quarters. Okay, so seven seven by ten. Okay, so we want this to be seven inches here. Seven inches wide. Okay, let's try not to mess up, Elizabeth. Okay, seven inches wide. Okay, so they said seven by ten. So I want to make this. Okay, this is going to be ten inches. Read that twice to make sure. Read twice, cut once. Okay, so that's 7 by 10. And then it says we need to have 2 5 inch by 5 and 3 quarter. Okay, 5 inch by 5 and 3 quarter. 2, okay, so this is 5 inches wide. And so then we want this to be 5 and 3 quarters. We want two of these. 5 and 3 quarters. And... Five and three quarters. Okay, we got that. So far we haven't messed up. We don't think. Now, and then it says from the second sheet of ivory cardstock, cut two. Okay, from the second sheet we want two seven and three quarter by five two seven and three quarter by five okay so we'll go to seven and three quarters right here okay let me move this mouse seven and three quarters we need two of them two seven and three quarters that's seven and three quarters right there seven and three quarters by five okay seven and three quarters down that one. And then we want these 
to be five inches. We want two of these to be, we want two five inch pieces right here. I'm fine. Now y'all keep an eye on that for me. Make sure that I'm cutting it right. Yell loud if I'm really loud. Because like if you're in Canada, I'd have you be yelling loud for me to hear you. Okay, now. Now those are those two pieces. And then out of this piece, I want two four inch by fives. So we're going to make this four inches. They drew a picture here so I can look at the picture. Okay, this is four inches. Okay, and then we need, did I cut, I hope that's straight. Okay, four by five. Now this we want five. Yeah, that's straight. Five, five, and five again. Okay. Five and then five again. Okay. Now I think what I'll do is I'll go like a half an hour and then I'll, if I'm not done, I'll quit and then start again. Okay. Now turn. Okay. Let's see. Turn the seven. Okay. Let's see. Turn. Okay. I got to move this. Let's put this down here. Turn the seven by, oh, where did I put this? Oh, here. Okay, it says to turn the seven by ten piece sideways into your scoreboard and score at, oh, God, this scoreboard needs help. Okay, now. It, yeah, this has been around the block. Okay, let's see. Now it says to score it, to turn it this way, and it says score at three and a quarter. Three, oh, three and a quarter. Three and a half. Okay, three and a quarter is right here. Three and a half is right here. Okay, three and a quarter, three and a half. Eight and a half, eight and three quarters, as indicated with the red lines. Okay, score it. Okay, eight and a half th and eight and three quarters. Eight and a half. That doesn't look right. Because here it looks even. Here it looks even, but if I go over here to eight and a half, and eight and three quarters. It's not even. It almost seems like this should have been 12 inches here. Okay, I'm going to do what it says. Three and a quarter, three and a half. Eight and a half and eight and three quarters. Okay, eight and a half. And eight and three quarters. It just doesn't look right. It does not look right. It, I feel like this piece should have been 12 inches. I wonder if they have a, um, oh, as indicated with red lines. But when you look at the image, it looks all even in here. And I did what it says, 7 inches by 10 inches. I bet they meant, they meant to say 12. Okay, I'm going to just keep going. Okay, now, fold on the score lines in the same direction. Round the four corners with a corner rounder punch. This is the album base, which will fold closed like an envelope. Okay, now. And we're going to go along with this. 
I shouldn't doubt things. I shouldn't be a doubting Thomas. Okay, let's see. Let me put this back on here. So I can... Okay, because we're going to do what it says. We're just going to do what it says, and, and that's all we can do. This. It's not looking right. It's not looking right. See, that doesn't even meet. That does not even meet. Okay. Fold on the score lines in the same direction. Round the four corners with a corner rounder punch. This is the album base, which will hold, fold close like an envelope. No. See here? Huh. This isn't right. This can't be right. They, I believe that there's a mistake in the print here. Because this has to be a 12 inch piece. Gosh, I wish I had a, I wish I had a, um, okay, you guys, I'm going to, this isn't right. It can't be right. It's not right. I'm we will go get another piece of cardstock. Hang on. Just sit there right there and hold, hold. Keep your eye on here. I don't have a pause button on here, but you all can fast forward right here till I come back. Okay, I'm coming back. Now, I went and got another piece because I think there's a typographical error in here. And um, so I'm going to now cut this, what I think it should be, which um, actually, if I look at the image right here, I hope you fast forwarded while I was gone. If I look at the image here, it says 7 by 10, but it shows the whole length. And then here it shows this little scrap. It shows scrap where there's going to be scrap. So, yes, this, I do believe, needs to be 7 by 12. Okay, so I'm going to cut this to 7 inches. Right there is 7 inches. Okay. Seven inches now. Now I think I'm cooking. Okay. I I um yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna go along here and I'm going to leave that at 12 inches and then I'm gonna follow this direction. Oh wait, yes, because we want it to be three and a quarter. And three and a half. So now we're at three and a quarter. <coughs> and three and a half, excuse me. And then it says eight <coughs> and a half. <coughs> eight and a half and eight and three quarter. Okay. Eight and a half and eight and three quarter. Now see that looks right now. So that... I'm sure it doesn't take a rocket scientist, but um, but I am a rocket scientist. Oh, no, that's right. I'm a unicorn. I'm not a rocket scientist. And so then I'm going to, now I'm folding this. I'm now folding this, and now it is looking right. So... Yay! Now I'm happy. 
I figured it out. Hopefully that's the only um, typographical error I don't want anymore. I don't want no more typographical errors. But that definitely is an error because that's not... But I can still use that paper for something else. It's not the end of the world. Okay, see, now that's correct because it closes like an envelope like it said it would. Now it says they want for my, they want me to... Um, round the corners so I'm going to round the corners it says so let's turn the page let's get this correct now and it says fold on the score lines in the same direction round the four corners with a corner rounder punch this is the album base which will fold close like an out envelope all right we will do that we're gonna do that now so it doesn't say what size corner round, so I'm only using a quarter inch corner round. This apparatus will do a quarter inch or a half inch, so I'm doing a quarter inch. Okay, so that's that part. Now we go to step five. Score the two seven and three quarter by five pieces. Okay, the seven and three quarter by five. That's these two pieces. All right, let's score them just like they say. And let's score. Score the two seven and three quarter by five pieces at one half and three quarter from the one end as indicated with the red lines. Round the two opposing corners and fold on the score lines in the same direction. Okay, so score the two seven and three quarters. Okay, and we want to at one half and three quarters, one half, okay, that's one half, and three, one half, and three quarters, okay, three quarters from one end as indicated with red lines round the two opposing corners around the two opposing corners that would be these two over here Oop, I didn't get that one very straight did I oh we got to get this perfect okay we did that oh we've got to do that on both pieces oops put the scraps in the floor all right one half and three quarters three quarters okay following directions following directions and then we round the opposing corners nicely don't go too fast Elizabeth because then you'll make a bad mistake okay now we got those opposing corners rounded now okay um Score the two, oh, wait a minute. Round the two opposing corners and fold on the score lines in the same direction. Okay, let's fold on the score lines. It's actually supposed to fold it this way. Fold on the score lines. Okay, we're folding. Getting them folded. Okay, fold on the score lines. That one's folded. And then we want to fold this one. So they look the same now. Okay. I probably should take this score pad, a score pad to the um, kitchen sink and gonna give it a good scrubbing. As you can see, I haven't done that. Uh, Stacy's probably watching this and having a fit. You need to go wash, I think. Okay, now it says score the two four by five pieces. Okay, four by five. That would be are them these? Are them these? Four by five. Score the two four by five pieces at one half. At one half. Okay. Score the two four by five 
4 inch by 5 inch pieces at 1 half as well as the two 5 and 3 quarter by 5 inch pieces. So those we score at 1 half. And they're holding them there this way, this long way. Okay, one half. Good thing they have pictures. So we're going to score both of them at one half. And then we're going to round both them corners opposing. Oh. Oh, yeah, this way. Okay, opposing corners. That's these ones. Okay, we got that. We'll get that. We are cooking. We are cooking. Now, I guess you can use any paper and make this. So maybe you want to take notes at these sizes, but make sure you get that 7 by 12 and not 7 by 10. I'll find out if I'm wrong later. Okay, score the two. Okay, now these we want folded as well. So we'll fold them. And we'll fold this. They always say you should fold on this piece that you actually um, scored on. The side that you actually scored on, not the other side. But sometimes I don't do it that way. Okay. Round the two. Okay. Now, step seven. Dotted lines indicate score lines. Yes. Adhere one, seven, and three quarter by five inch piece to the right edge of the album base. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Now, album base, that's this. Now, they would like for us to... All right. Adhere one of the seven and three quarter by five inch piece. That's this. Okay, seven and three quarter. Seven. Okay, seven three quarter by five inch piece. The right edge of the album base by placing adhesive on the one half inch scored area only, and adhering adhering to the back side of the of the base. Repeat with the other piece, with the other seven and three quarter by five piece to the left edge. See next photo. Okay, so they want us to, to glue it like this. Okay, but you know what? I see that they cut it a little bit on an angle. It doesn't really show that in real life but um it looks like they just just a wee bit cut this right here on a little angle in here which i'm sure that you're supposed to do that because i just think i know everything and i am a rocket scientist unicorn and that's why i just pretend i know everything okay so that's what i'm gonna do there now okay Oh man, I've already been here 23 minutes. You know what, guys? If you have to, like, go get dinner or something, you just go right on ahead. Um, I am going to continue on with this project right here. Okay. While I take my lid off of my thingy. Oh. That wasn't, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, this is the wrong thingy. That was my broken one. This one here, I had to pour it in another um, jar because I laid this up against my hot glue gun and it put a hole in it. Only Elizabeth would do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to do what they said. I'm going to put some adhesive glue. Now, I guess some people might use tape here, but I'm not using tape. I'm using glue because that's what I'm using. But if you have, like, score tape, I'm sure they'd be happy if you use that. Okay, so I'm putting this here. Make sure in it. This glue kind of, it grabs quickly. 
And Wendy sent me a whole new bottle of glue, too. So I got a new bottle when I use this one up. I'm excited about that. Oh, this has been the best birthday of my life. I would have been 69 first if I'd known. Okay, now I got that glue on there. Now I'm going to glue that like this because that's what the instructions say, I think. Now, we'll just do this, okay? And I'm only gluing that half inch section. Okay. I just wiped that glue on my pants, whatever. I don't care, whatever. I don't go any place fancy, so if I've got glue and paint all over my clothes, ain't no big deal. Okay, those fold in now. Okay, now. Now we did that. Now we're on step eight. This is a view from the back of the album base so far. The red lines indicate the two panels you just attached and the dotted lines indicate score lines. All right, got it. Adhere the two four, adhere the two four by five inch pieces to the inside of the album as shown, placing adhesive only on the one half inch scored area when folded closed. These two panels should meet up perfectly and not overlap. Okay, so that's this one and this one. These two should not overlap. They should go right here and right here inside and not overlap. And that is exactly what they're going to do. They said that they're going to get along well, play well with others. That's what we want. Now, I think I'm going to like this. Oh, I might have should have just put a little edge on there. I mean, I should have maybe cut that. Okay, so I'm putting that nice and straight right there. I might have should have angled that little edge, but I don't think it much matters. No, it fits in there good, so I won't worry about it. It doesn't say to angle it anyway. I just sort of angle things. Angle the dangle. It's the angle of the dangle. Angle of the dangle. I mean to tell you, this happy mail, Wendy, are you watching this? I am loving. I've even wrote you a thank you card yet, and I'm already working on this stuff. I'll write you a thank you card tonight, though, and mail it to you. Send it to you in the snail mail. Although I'm think thinking you in real life right now. But okay, so these go like this, and they just do meet in the middle. In the middle. Wait a minute. I pulled that off of there. Let me give it another little squirt. Give me a little squirt there because I didn't have it centered. Perfect. I want it perfect. We want perfection here. Perfection. Not really. I'm not even a perfectionist. Okay, so now that meets right in the center. Okay, so that'll dry. Now, next step. Adhere. Okay, we did that. They should meet up perfectly and not overlap. Fold the four inch by five inch panel closed. Indicated in the gray. Indicated in the gray. Like this. Then adhere the five and three quarter by five inch panel to it. What? This? Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting a little... Now I'm getting confused. Okay. Then, okay, fold the four by five inch panel closed. Indicated in gray. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Right here. Like this. Closed. Then adhere the five and three quarter by five inch panel to it as shown in red, placing adhesive on only the one half inch scored area. Did it tell me to score these pieces? I don't remember that part. Okay, wait a minute now. 
So this is what they're saying, right? The four by five. And this is, oh no, this is, wait a minute. What? Four by five. This is a five and three quarter. Wait a minute. Okay. Did we make a mistake? Four by five inches. Okay, wait a minute. Fold the four by five panel closed. Then adhere the five and three quarter by five inch panel to it. As shown in red, placing the adhesive only on the one half. Okay, the five and three quarter by five. That is this. Okay, this is five and three quarter. Okay, but it didn't, It either it didn't tell me or I missed it. Okay, so this is going to be scored at a half inch. Okay, so I need to score this, these two, at a half inch. Okay, I can do that. I'll catch up. I'll catch up with the rest of the class. I might have to take this class two years in a row, but I'm going to cut that in a, not cutting it. I'm scoring it at a half an inch, and I'm scoring this one at a half an inch because that is what it says half inch half inch okay and then I'm just going to assume to cut this to score these opposing corners see when I say opposing corners it sounds like I know what I'm doing right okay so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to fold this and I'm going to fold this and then we'll burnish. I learned that burnish word too. That's what we're doing right there. But I am absolutely going to just angle them just a little bit. I have found that in the past by angling them just the tiniest bit, everything fits better. Okay, so we're going to just rub them into the floor. And then, where'd that go? Oh, here it is. So, it looks to me like what they want me to do is to put this piece. I'm going to glue this to this piece at the one half, glue that one half inch piece on top of there. Okay, let me check that. All right, fold the four inch by five. Okay, I did that. Five and three quarter by five to it as shown red. Place adhesive only on the half inch scored area. Repeat on the left side. Yes, that's it, exactly. It even matches the picture. Okay, so with we'll that, make sure it's right there, centered on there, just like this, okay? I think I'm doing it correctly. This is exciting. This is exciting. Okay, now, and then this one will go on the left side. Might show right on your computer screen, but, or telephone, or whatever you're watching, but Gay Ron T. That's my left. Now, okay, now it's telling me to start cutting the patterned paper. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. So I'm going to make this as part one is we got the base. Okay, there we go. The base. Yeah, that was a typo for sure in that, um, a little bit of a typo in this here, and I'll cross that out and I'll fix it. And um, okay, and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna have um, step two, a uh, part two. I'm gonna get the other paper ready, and then I'm going to start doing this on part two, so y'all can just watch it in parts. Okay, 
Mouse, mouse, mouse. This is so exciting. Okay. Okay. God bless you all. May God watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay. Okay.